Welcome to my channel. I'm Gary Wiryawan and today I want to share to you five reasons why you should use Micro Four Thirds camera system. Let's go. So today I want to share to you my five top reasons why you should try to use Micro Four Thirds camera system. Micro Four Thirds camera system is my primary camera system of choice. I switched to Micro Four Thirds from Canon APS-C DSLR camera system back then around 2014. And today I am very happy with the performance and the image quality of my Micro Four Thirds cameras and lenses. I personally think that Micro Four Thirds camera system is a little bit underrated and that is a shame because lots of people only know the weakness of Micro Four Thirds camera system which is the smaller sensor size but they don't really know the strengths of Micro Four Thirds camera system and there are lots of strengths when it comes to Micro Four Thirds camera system. So today I just want to pick out five out of these many strengths of Micro Four Thirds camera system so that these five strengths can be a good reason for you to use Micro Four Thirds camera system. Let's start with the first reason. First reason is smaller and lighter cameras and lenses. As I mentioned earlier, one of the weakness of Micro Four Thirds camera system is the smaller sensor size. It is smaller than a full frame sensor and also APS-C sensor. But thankfully, because of that smaller sensor size, the Micro Four Thirds camera and lenses don't need to accommodate for a larger sensor area. And that means the camera and lenses can become smaller and lighter as well. The smaller camera and the smaller lenses means that they are perfect for traveling. And this is one of the main reasons why I switched to Micro Four Thirds on the first place. I traveled to so many countries in the world and I was able to take so many great pictures, high quality pictures as well as video. And this is only possible because of the smaller and the lighter size and weight of Micro Four Thirds cameras and lenses. If they are large, then I usually won't end up taking them on a trip and I ended up taking most of my pictures and video only using my smartphone camera. And that is the case when I was still using my Canon DSLR. It was really big, it was really huge, and bringing this camera and lens for traveling is just so cumbersome and it just makes me so angry at many times. So I ended up just leaving my camera at home or at the hotel and I just rely on using my smartphone camera all the time. And although smartphone camera pictures are not really that bad, they are still not up to my standards yet. As a matter of fact, I will be traveling soon and I will also share that travel video with you on this channel. But basically, I want to show you that uh, just using one single backpack, 28 liter backpack, I was able to fit not just my camera gear, but also all the clothes that I need, the toiletries that I need, and the electronics that I need for one week worth of trip. And on the camera gear side of things, I will be carrying not just one Micro Four Thirds camera, but two cameras and three lenses. So yeah, this is the main strength of Micro Four Thirds in my opinion, being able to carry your camera gear without adding too much weight and eating too much size inside of your luggage when you are traveling. Now let's move on with reason number two. And reason number two is good enough image quality. Wait, 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 wait. You said good enough image quality? You said that the sensor size is smaller than full frame and APS-C. That means the image quality can be any good, right? Well, right, the image quality coming out from Micro Four Thirds camera is not as good as full frame or APS-C. Let's be honest here, let's just not sugarcoat anything. However, do you always need that full frame or APS-C image quality all the time? I think the answer is no. If you are a hobbyist photographer like me, you don't always really need that kind of image quality. Well, yes, it's nice that you can have a fantastic high resolution image quality coming out from that camera. But I think most of the time what I'm looking for from a Micro Four Thirds camera system or from any camera system in that matter is just something that is significantly better than the image quality coming out from my smartphone's camera. 
Now, don't get me wrong, image quality coming out from recent high-end smartphone cameras are already really good, especially with the computational photography technologies built into these devices. However, I still think that in my opinion, the image quality coming out from Micro Four Thirds camera system is still significantly better compared to even a high-end smartphone coming out from the recent years. Now, yes, I mentioned to you that I am only a hobbyist. I'm doing this photography filmmaking thing only for fun, not as my primary source of income. However, I know some of my friends and also some people that I know who are a professional photographer, professional filmmaker, and also professional content creator. And they are using Micro Four Thirds camera system and they are doing just fine. So Micro Four Thirds is not only for a hobbyist, it's also good for professional photographer if you know what you're doing however the key point here is that the image quality although not as great as full frame or APS-C camera it is still better compared to a smartphone's camera image quality now let's move on to reason number three and reason number three is the best camera is the one that's with you the best camera is the one that's with you is a quote from Chase Jarvis. So for example, if you only bring a phone at that time and you don't bring a camera, then this phone will be the best camera that you have with you at that given time and at that given place. If you bring a Micro Four Thirds camera at that given time and at that given place, then this Micro Four Thirds camera is the best camera that you have with you at that time. Now you might be asking, hey Gary, how is the best camera that's the one with you is a strength of Micro Four Thirds camera? How are they related? Well, now let me answer it to you. If you are carrying your Micro Four Thirds camera every day, then your Micro Four Thirds camera will be the best camera that you have with you. And thankfully, as I mentioned earlier, Micro Four Thirds camera and lenses, they are small, they are lightweight, so they're not really a problem for you to carry every day. So that's the answer right there. So nowadays, when I go out and about, I will always bring one Micro Four Thirds camera with me with an attached lens such as this Panasonic GX85 and the Panasonic Lumix 20mm f1.7 and also a couple of other lenses. Uh, one is usually a wide angle lens and one is usually a telephoto lens. And this camera together with a couple of lenses can fit easily into this small sling bag right here and it weighs less than one kilogram. So I always have my my best camera ready with me at all times and you can check out this kind of everyday photography gear that I bring with me every day I will put the link up here so that you can watch what kind of camera and lenses that I usually bring with me and thanks to the Micro Four Thirds camera being so small and so lightweight with a few lenses that can fit inside this bag that I mentioned earlier, I can now start to document my everyday life and I try to spend some time every day to do a little bit of my photography hobby. And you can also check out the vlogs that I made documenting the process of how I take my everyday pictures. You can check it out up here. Now let's move on to reason number four. And reason number four is the ability to adapt different lens from different mounts to micro four thirds. Smaller sensor size, as we already discussed, is not really a disadvantage, but it's more of a benefit. And now again, thanks to the smaller sensor size, now we are able to adapt many different kinds of lenses from different kinds of lens mounts into micro four thirds cameras. This is really an advantage because being able to adapt different kinds of lenses from different kinds of lens mount can open so many possibilities when you're shooting for photography or even for filmmaking. If you are attaching an older vintage lenses from film cameras into Micro Four Thirds cameras, you'll be able to uh, kind of utilize that unique quality that you can only get from using vintage older lenses. This is really a huge thing. I know that so many people are really into adapting manual vintage lens into Micro Four Thirds camera because not only it is affordable, but they're also able to get some really interesting result that you can only get from using this kind of lenses that you cannot really replicate using post-processing. The ability to adapt lenses from different mounts can also mean that you're able to use specialty lenses for your Micro Four Thirds camera. 
one such example of this kind of specialty lens that I know so many people are adapting to their microfortis cameras is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter f1.8. That's a really good example of a really specialty lenses. I know that there are some other kinds of specific lens that people are trying to use to achieve a very specific kind of look for their photography and filmmaking. And now this is possible thanks to the smaller sensor of micro four thirds camera. Personally, I'm not really into this whole adapting different lens mount into micro four thirds because I personally just really enjoy the first party lenses and third party lenses that don't require a lens adapter on my camera. However, this is still really nice for me because this is an option if I want to change my mind in the future. Now let's move on to reason number five and reason number five is complete lens selection. Micro Four Thirds as a mirrorless camera system has been around since a very long time and that means the lens selection is just very complete, sometimes with multiple brands covering the same focal lengths. This means that you can really dial in your lens selection for your photography kit. There's all sorts of different kinds of lenses from ultra wide to telephoto, from really budget manual focus only lens to all the way to pro grade high quality professional lens as well. There are many other different kinds of camera format and camera manufacturers that offers really good selection of lenses. However, I just think personally that Micro Four Thirds is the most complete compared to all of them. We have all sorts of kinds of different lens and I've been able to use some really unique lens that can only exist in Micro Four Thirds world with that kind of size, with that kind of weight that doesn't really exist anywhere else in full frame or APS-C. So yeah, if lens selection is a really important thing for you, then I suggest you to try to check out Micro Four Thirds and see if you have any kind of lens that you want in the lens catalog. So yes, those are all the five strengths and reasons why you should use Micro Four Thirds camera. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that today's video is inspiring, informative, and useful for you. And please comment down below. Let me know what kind of camera system that you are using. Are you using Micro Four Thirds camera system or are you using something else? Please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them as well. Also, don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.